What's up, Prime Time Squad? Coming to y'all live on this cold, chilly type of day. Um, I just want to talk about Black Ink Crew Chicago real quick. Um, there was a lot going on in this last show. What did y'all think about it if y'all watched it? Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about was Lil O Lily. Now, as y'all know, if y'all been following me for a minute, Lily and I have like a love hate relationship, and I'm driving, so I'm being careful though. But, um, Lily and I have a love hate relationship. Lily is like a sweet person, but hot heady. And what I didn't expect from her this episode was how she um, hashed things out or should I say squashed the beef between her and uh, her ex, Junior, and his new uh, girlfriend, Adriana. Now, at the party that they had that uh, Charmaine put together, by the way, in honor of the friends that they had met and their customers they had met in Las Vegas, you know, at the tattoo convention. Um, she felt like, you know what, it's time to squash the beef. Her and Adriana had got into it a few times over Junior, and she wanted to let Junior know there's no ill will feelings or ill feelings, you know, as far as them, uh, their breakup goes. And, um, I thought that everything was cool after that, you know, like, Okay, Lily apologized. Okay, kudos. Good for her. But then later on, she went in the garage and sat down on the floor and started crying. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with Lily? This girl pro proclaiming her that, well, proclaiming to um, Junior's girlfriend, Adriana her love for him she still loves junior she still cares for junior and i get it i get it but but lily should have done that somewhere else as far as letting somebody else's letting my ex his new girl his new boo whatever wife whatever girlfriend see me break down like that that would never happen even if I was still in love with my ex, which I'm not in love with any of my exes, but you know, um, she broke down crying and snotting and I'm like, oh no, oh no. And then after that, she, I don't know if she, I don't know if she was still butt hurt, um, because of the fact that she was still in love and then wanted to hurt Adriana by say, telling her he ain't all that, you know, good of a person as you think he is. And she's like, what you mean? And Lily goes on to tell her that at the beginning of Adriana, when he broke up with Lily, after they broke up and he got with Adriana and he texted her, this is what Lily said, he texted Lily and told her that he still loves her at the beginning of his new relationship with Adriana. Now, I, I, I don't know how to feel about that because she, you know, was like, yeah, it happened, you said it, you said it. And Junior was all in her face. Why are you lying? Why are you trying to, you know, hurt my girlfriend? You know, you just jealous. You just, you know, want to see me hurt. You just, you know, woo 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 woo. And I'm like thinking, I wonder if there's any truth in that. Like any truth at all in that. Because Lily was sitting there pretty calm, don't you think? You know, when she was trying to defend herself, you know, it's true, it's true, it's true. And then his girlfriend, Adriana, I was like, how the heck could you sit there and believe Lily? Not saying Lily lying, y'all. I'm not saying Lily lying. I'm not saying she's saying the truth. But it took just that. And that's one thing that um, 
a lot of guys have an issue with when they in relationship is they girlfriend or they wife believing something that another chick said right off tops with no explanation they don't want to hear their side of the story i mean they just take it and run with it get pissed off break up with them put them out divorce them you know whatever take half the house and half the kids what you know what i listen to the dad so the you know the man so you know i had a little issue with that because if his girlfriend really loves him the way she act like she does she should have at least heard his side of the story even if he had lied to her in the past that's just my take on that but anyway to another subject um jen Jen. Now, I thought Jen had left. After Van left her at the altar, I thought she had left, went back to the shy because she was hurt. And, you know, he basically, you know, told her at the altar he didn't want to marry her. He was just doing it because she wanted him to. Um, I thought she packed her stuff up and went back to the shy. But then she comes strolling up into the um party. Talking about, I heard they was having a party, so of course I'm going to be there. I'm like, how you going to be there when you just literally cussed this man out broke it off with him so it seemed went back to the hotel where you were staying and i'm thinking and i'm sure everybody else thinking you done went back home and you come busting up in the party um in some two tight booty shorts i mean van i see why he was up there crying and stuff because he was like oh damn i'm about to miss all of that i mean i ain't gonna lie and i ain't no homo but jen you know she looked pretty good in her little short jeans she got the leg she got the shape for it and i'm sure he was up there like oh dang i'm gonna miss all this somebody else gonna have all that he up there crying and stuff and she about to beat his butt <laughs> She, she was like, you better stop that crying. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? And then he tried to touch her and, you know, try to, you know, show her some kind of affection. And she up there about to take off on him because he was touching her. Talking about, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get your hand. I thought she was about to slack the mess out of him. But my thing is with Jen, why'd you show up at the party if all you wanted to do was argue and fight? You could have done that back in the shy. You could have done that at the chapel when he basically told you he didn't want to marry you. I mean, why show up in the party? And then she was all extra, extra, extra loud, you know, trying to make sure everybody heard and everything. But anywho, I don't know what's up with them, but I do believe, I do believe they probably gonna end up back together. I do believe. But then, to a more serious note, as far as four, um, I would have never guessed that four had dealt with depression in his past. And I hate that he's dealing with depression, but I'm so glad to see people being so open on these reality shows like that. Like for instance, Four's dealing with depression. Um, Ryan's dad, I mean, not, not Ryan, uh, uh, I'm sorry. That's somebody walking up to my door. Um, what's it, four is, um, I can't, now I can't think. I can't think. But four right now is dealing with, uh, depression and Don's, I'm sitting in my parking lot, so I'm somewhere safe. If y'all think, why she keep looking around? <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> Don, you know, his dad is dealing with depression as well because he didn't lost his father. He didn't lost his uncle. He didn't lost his, you know, his um, brother, you know, all within a close, you know, time frame. And it's like for when he was calling his girlfriend and talking to Ashley and you can really just just feel the weight on his shoulders with dealing with his bro with depression dealing with his dad who's you know and who's been depressed and then on top of that why he trying to like he told his um girlfriend his wife ashley he's trying to be superman trying to protect everybody trying to save everybody trying to you know help everybody and he's still dealing with you know his sister who you know died a few years ago she, you know she, she she committed suicide you know if you follow the show you re, you remember that um 
And it's like, he's trying to handle that, trying to handle keeping his family together, because recently Ashley just came back after she bounced on him. And then having to deal with four, I mean, that was so sad. I was watching that and looking at people on the outside, you can't never tell sometimes that they dealing with depression, that they having suicidal thoughts. And when Four mentioned that he sometimes feel like he shouldn't even be here, shouldn't even be living on this earth, that really hurt. I mean, all his friends, you know, the cast members, you know, they're not just cast members. They're actually, you know, a crew, a clique, you know, a group of sisters and brothers, you know, by a different mother. But they were so hurt and they, it's like, what can you do when somebody's dealing with something like that? And then when I saw the picture that he had put um, out for the promotion for his new album or his new single, it was a noose around his neck and the name of it was called Help. I was like, I understand where Van and them and Charmaine and Ryan and Don, where they was coming from when they like, man, we looked at that picture and, and we didn't know, you know, we can't understand and then when I hear Don say, this isn't the first time that four has had these issues. Wow. I, I really think they need to get him help. I really do think they need to get him help. Um, when he woke up, when they woke up that next morning and he was gone, I was like, oh my God, where, where did four go? <laughs> Where did he go? He left in the middle of the night and then Van was in there in the bed with him. I'm like, hi Van, I know he left the room. I mean, these is two big dudes on one bed, Van sleeping at the foot, four sleeping at the top, you know, Van there to make sure he don't do anything crazy, try to take his life in the middle of the night or try to harm himself. And you didn't feel this big old dude get out the bed, Van must have been sleeping hard. And I guess I can give them a pass a little bit because they all was drinking. They was turned up at that pool party. But remember when um, four, when he was sitting by the pool and this was before, you know, that little intervention and he was sitting by the pool and he was looking like really sad or like out of it or like he didn't want to be there. And to hear him later say, tonight at the pool party his goal was to drown himself uh, I mean people can be here one minute y'all and go on the next and if they if, if we don't recognize the signs like like Ryan was saying if, if you lonely we gonna be lonely together if you hurt we gonna be hurting together you know if you sad i'm gonna try to cheer you up you gotta you gotta see the signs you gotta know the signs when people are depressed i'm really really glad they were focusing a lot on this i mean even the producers the producers was like we don't give a crap about nothing else going on tonight nothing else on this show we only thinking about four so they did everything possible you know to try to find out where he was um they called his cell phone they called don who was back in the shy and that's when don was explaining he was like sometimes four likes to be by himself and sometimes he you know he talks when he wants to talk and just sometimes you just gotta back away and that's the scary part because it's like you don't want to back away when you know that somebody is depressed or having suicidal thoughts you want to be there and you want to try to protect them and try to save them like don was saying you know to ashley but <clears throat> they eventually um ryan um i'm sorry van eventually got in contact with him for answer his phone and asked him could he meet him somewhere they didn't disclose the location um and he requested no cameras so they didn't take the cameras and the producers was like we we not worried about no cameras we want not worried about the show right now we just worry about four go get four go to four that's what the producers kept saying go to four that really touched me because the producer the black guy i can't remember his name 
but he was so like concerned like really concerned as if this was like maybe a real family member of his or something a close friend of his and i, I like that i really like that but you know ryan went to four and then he i mean why i keep saying ryan van went to four and then he called and said you know what i'm with him i got him he seems to be doing a lot better he said he feels better but they definitely like charmaine said we cannot just just be continually just let him go off like that or continually they he needs to get some professional help and i think uh from what don was saying from what i was getting from what don was saying was that four had professional help in the past so he might need to start seeing someone again um a therapist a counselor a you know something like that but I'm, I'm I'm sure hoping that he gets help because he did say, he did tell Van, I want to live. I want to live. I want to live. So I'm hoping that everything works out with four. And as far as Don's father too, I hope everything works out for him because Don was just like, you know what? I can see that spark's no longer in your eye. Um, <laughs> his father even admitted you know i don't have the same energy i used to have i don't feel the same he said i know something is wrong and when his dad started crying i was like oh take me out take me out y'all know how i am when i see people crying I, i'll just be like boo hoo hoo i was boy i was in tears and don you know him being you know trying to be superman as usual he told his dad I want you to stay with me and Ash, you know, for a couple of weeks because I don't want you to be alone. I want you around some good energy, you know, family, you know, fun, some laughter, some love, you know, stuff like that. So I think his dad is going to take him up on that offer. I really hope he does because, wow, it's... <laughs> I don't think Don, you know, could take it if he lost anybody else after his sister. And, you know, so y'all, y'all keep them in his prayers. You know how I am. Whenever I see my favorite celebrities, <clears throat> even though we don't know them personally, but whenever I see my favorite celebrities and even the ones that are not so favorite. <laughs> but when I do reviews on the shows and they go on through stuff, death or sickness or whatever, I always say, let's keep them in our prayers and keep them in our thoughts that everything works out for them. But um, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Um, and let me know what you think about Lily and Junior. Do y'all think Lily was wrong for what she did? Um, and how do y'all feel about Jen, you know, busting up in there just to argue with Van? And, you know, how y'all feel about uh, four and, you know, Don and his father. And let me know what y'all think about that. And just remember, you know, look for the signs. Look for the signs. If you see somebody, you know, that's normally outgoing and cheerful all the time and always want to hang out and always want to, you know, upbeat. And then all of a sudden they do like a 360 and don't ever want to be around nobody looking like they depressed all the time or upset or angry. You know, it might be something deeper going on with them. So, you know, let's take care of each other. And in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, stay 